want to welcome you back to Black Side Sports tonight. We're going to talk about Carl Nassib being attacked for being a Republican and a Trump supporter after he came out as one of the first NFL players who happened to be gay. This shows you the dichotomy of this movement, LGBTQ movement, this woke movement, this progressive movement. You have to check all the boxes to be accepted. As soon as the left found out that Carl Nassib was a Republican and allegedly a Trump supporter, they tried to cancel him as fast as possible. If you're not on the team all the way, you're not on the team. And they're angry that he may be a big Republican and Trump supporter. There happen to be gay Republicans, if they did know, the Law Cabin Republicans, and other Republicans across America who believe in certain principles over their sexuality. But when you happen to be gay, you have to be not only gay, liberal, progressive, a Democrat, socialist. If you're not in all those boxes, you're considered a traitor, just like being a black Republican or a black conservative. You're considered a Uncle Tom. Now, Carl Nassib may be going through that same principle that black conservatives go through every day. All he did was come out and say that he happened to be gay, if you like it or not. But he thought he would get unanimous support within the gay community and on the left. But no, that's not good enough. It's never good enough because the beast has to be fed every day. And if it isn't fed the right type of meal, it explodes. The cancel culture comes out and you see what they did to Carl Nassib. Just a sneak peek that he happens to be a Republican is so repulsive amongst the left that they attack Carl Nassim. Now he means nothing to them because he might have voted for Trump. You don't know who he voted for. He could have voted for Biden or not voted at all. But the mere appearance that he happens to be on the wrong team makes them extremely mad. Why would anyone want to be part of this cancel culture movement? Why would anyone want to be part of a movement that has no space for differences? The only space they have is that you must acknowledge everything that we stand for. They can't just find out and just accept that he's gay, Republican, and maybe a Trump supporter. No, that's not good enough. If you happen to be a Republican and a Trump supporter, you're a loser. And you must be treated that way. Even though what he did to many Americans happens to be the right thing to do. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side Sports. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.